Hello everyone. Um, welcome to Cards and Coffee. Today is May, oh dear, May the 11th, May the 12th. I'm not sure. It's Wednesday at noon and every Wednesday at noon here on Sarah Lynn Stamps. I try to go live and share with you a really quick card that you can make in 15 minutes or less. So today we are going to be stamping with the color and contour bundle. So this bundle comes with a stamp set as well as a set of dies, a scallop contour dies. These are some of my newest favorite dies that are in the current um, just released catalog. And mainly because you get all of these gorgeous scalloped edges here um, for all sorts of different borders or die cuts. So this one here fits a full background on a page. It just has some little pieces I need to pop out and is beautiful. And then you've got a bunch here with different sizes and you can see they all have sort of a little bit of a different inner design. This one here has holes that kind of punches out um, into the border. And this, this one here is uh, cuts a line out where you can see these different lines. It actually cuts that line out into the border to add a little bit of detail. And this one is like a sewing stitched mark. So really, really pretty. So many different things that you can do with these gorgeous borders. Um, but actually, I'm not going to use the borders today for a change. Um, we are going to be using the flowers out of this set. Let's stick this all back in. The other thing that you get is this beautiful, large scalloped edge. And again, it'll give you sort of these little dots on along the other side or the side that's not cut out when you die cut it. So just super, super useful beautiful way to add, easily add some ideas or some, sorry, some details to your project. So lots and lots of things that you can do with this, but we are going to use this um, bundle today. And again, if you're just joining us, that's the color and contour bundle that was just released in the new catalog. So I don't even have my catalog here. I could pull it up for you, but if you go back to the index in the back, you'll be able to find it really easily. So as you come on, say hi if you have any questions. Like always, pop them in the comments and I will try to answer them as we go. Okay, let's get started. I gotta remember where we're at. Today is a Wednesday. This has been a crazy busy week at work where I've act absolutely been running around with my head chopped off. So sometimes I forget exactly where I am. Okay, so first I have a piece of cardstock here. This is a piece of just your regular basic white cardstock and it measures four and almost a quarter. <laughs> so it's just one sixteenth of an inch less than the card front. So let's see if we count sixteen. So that's four and one sixteenth. No. Yep. And five and three sixteenths. You know what? Those are eights. Three eighths and one eighth. Four and one eighth and five and three eighths. I have a different sort of measurement here than I have on my other paper, so I'm confusing myself. So that's what we got here in white. Okay, if I jiggle you around, I'm really sorry. We are going to, first of all, we are going to actually die cut this out. So it really doesn't matter where we stamp this, but we are going to use our largest stamp here with the three flowers and the stem. And I'm going to just stamp that in Memento Black ink, which is our basic everyday black. And it's good for using with Stampin' Blends, not good for watercoloring. So if you're watercoloring, make sure that you use stays on. But today we're just doing some general cutting or stamping and die cutting. So there we go. We've got our flower here. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dauber, a sponge dauber, and you could use a blend for this if you want but I kind of don't want that saturated color that you get from the blend just because it doesn't, when you're partially stamping and partially blending, I don't know, I don't find that the colors really go that well together. So I'm gonna just use this um, green dauber and I'm just gonna lightly sponge over the leaves and we're gonna punch this or die cut this out so you're not gonna see all the stuff that's around the leaf, but there's no stamp, at least that I can figure out, that fits on the leaf. So. I don't wanna color them with my blends. So this is my solution. You could also use blender pens um, and your ink from your Stampin' Pad, but we're gonna do this today. All right, the other thing we're going to do, well actually let's die cut this out. I've got my die cut machine here today. 
let's see if you can actually see this. So we're going to die cut this out. I'm going to just grab the flower die cut out of the dies here. And we're going to run this through our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'll just show you exactly how easy that is. So if you are just starting to do this, um, you may want to use some painter's tape or masking tape to hold down your dies. But once you get the knack of it, you can really just put it on here over top and then just take your top sheet and because mine's a little bit warped, I'm going to just put it this way. You just kind of stick it in the front and then roll it down on top of your image and hold. And then we're going to just twist our handle here. You're probably going to shake a little bit. I don't know if you can even see the handle. We're just running it right through like that. And then when it comes out the other side, we have our beautiful die cut image. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now the reason I didn't stamp the flowers is because we're actually going to use the other flowers um, for this card. So I have this now, I just kind of want the stem and the leaves. So now we're going to take the larger flower and it has a solid background and an outline stamp. So I'm gonna stamp the outline first again in Memento Black ink. And I want a couple of these, so I'm going to just stamp once, and I'm going to stamp twice. And again, there's die cuts for this, and you should definitely use your stamper, um, Stamparatus mat, or your Stampin' Pierce, I think it's called the Pierce Stamping Piercing. You know what I said last time I would look this up, but I can't remember. Stamping Pierce mat or Pearson Stamping mat, I'm not sure. It's new in the catalog, $7.00. Um, and that is a great base for when you're stamping with photopolymer stamps that don't have the cushion. I'm going to take Bermuda Bay, click at the top and flip it open. We're going to use this solid one of the stamps. And so what I mean by that is we had the outline. Now we've got the solid, which adds the color to the background of our flower. And this is a really great way to make cards quickly is when they have sort of this two-step stamp where you just stamp them over top like so. And they don't have to line up properly. Um, that's the way that they're made to be. Okay, so then we would run these back through our die cut machine with the flower die cut, um, the larger one out of our die cut stamp set here, this one here. But I've already done that so that we can just move ahead with our card. But you would just run it through twice because you have one die cut and two flowers. The other thing that we're going to stamp is our sentiment. So I'm going to do that before we go ahead. On to the next step, and I'm just going to stamp that down here. For you all, I will stamp it the right way up so you can actually read it. <laughs> Not that it really matters. So there we have, and it doesn't matter if it's straight, we're just doing it on our scrap because we're going to cut it out. Now, if you wanted to use one of the dies out of the set to punch, there's various ones to cut, punch out the sentiments, you could do that also, but I'm going to actually just cut that out. Okay, so let's do that. Let's cut out our sentiment, and we'll have all the pieces. Here are the two flowers that I previously die cut out, just to save some time. And then what I really like doing is just cutting straight until you kind of hit a little bump. And then you're going to just cut around just that portion of your sentiment. So we're going to just kind of go like this. And it works a lot easier if you move your paper and not your scissors. So your scissors are kind of holding constant. You're just going to move your paper the direction that you want to cut. Now we're going to cut straight again until we hit the Y a little bit. We're going to go around the Y like this. And don't fret, it doesn't have to be completely straight like so. And then I'm just going to cut off a tiny bit on this end here. And this is going to be our sentiment strip just like that. Okay, let me set this scrap aside. And let's start putting our card together. So again, this is the four and one eighth by five and what did I say? Three eighths cards, card front. And so I have a couple pieces of designer series paper that I have cut out. And this is out of the, let me just, art gallery designer series paper. So don't forget about, um, you know what? I just used the wrong one. I used my card front for my scrap and I now I'm left with my scrap. So let me cut this out. Um, but don't forget about our mini catalog. I know we have 
a brand new beautiful catalog that was just released um, that we're all so excited about but the mini catalog is still active and has so many beautiful things in it so don't forget about your supplies that you bought from that one as you move on and get excited about your new stuff and don't forget that there's still some beautiful things in there that you have time to grab before they're gone um, in June. All right, so I have here, again, a piece that measures the four and one eighth by two inches. And then I have another piece here that's four and one eighth by half an inch. So what we're gonna do is just with regular, you know what, let's do our stamping first. Let's stop and do our stamping first. We have a couple, just a little bit of stamping to do on here. But I am going to use Pool Party, which matches this paper. And it's kind of like a lighter version of Bermuda Bay, I think. We're going to use the Splash or the Speckled Background stamp here. And I actually want to stamp off. I want this to be really, really faint on the background. So I'm going to stamp it off. And then I'm going to just randomly stamp it on here. I don't even know if you'll be able to necessarily see it on the camera. Can you guys see that? Maybe. So we're going to just add, I don't want to stamp on my black mat, just some speckles in the background like that. And this is just going to add a little bit, fill in our white area a little bit uh, so that it doesn't look quite so stark. But So that's optional, but I think it really does make a nice difference. You could also use um, like a gray, maybe a gray granite or a basic gray that's been stamped off to do those speckles as well. Um, that would look really lovely. Okay, so we're gonna put this designer series paper right lined up at the bottom. And again, this is two inches tall by four and an eighth. We are going to run some adhesive on this little guy here. And if this is really, it's kind of too small for seal, you could probably use the liquid glue, but you know, I'm kind of lazy. I just use what I have on hand. <laughs> okay. So we have that. And isn't that nice how just that little separation in there just kind of adds a little bit of interest to your card. You could substitute this out for also a piece of ribbon if you wanted to. I think that would be really beautiful. Okay, so now the reason that I didn't stamp these flowers is because I'm going to cut them off. I don't actually want the flowers on here. So I'm going to try to just cut off this, the flowers, and I'm going to make it a little bit longer if I can. And we are going to use the other flowers that we die cut out to finish this card here. I feel like I put my strip on a little crooked, but probably won't matter once we get going. So what I'm going to do is with dimensionals, I'm going to use the edge of my dimensionals here to just add a little bit to the back of the, the leaves. And you could die cut this out with... Um, the foam sheets and then this would all be lifted up but I just find because it's so small this bottom part if it doesn't have dimensionals behind it I don't find it really makes a difference we just want to lift up the bigger parts and they'll kind of support the smaller parts if that makes sense or you could cut these down a little bit more use half of a mini dimensional instead of half of a large dimensional so we are going to stick this on here like so. And we are also going to use some dimensionals on the back of our flowers here. So just a couple on each is plenty. And I'm just going to do this while I have it here. I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of my sentiment as well. And I think I'll just use the edge again. A nice long edge piece here on that portion. There, we've got everything lifted. So let's start taking off the backs here. And I'm gonna just set it gently until I sort of have, have it laid out where I want it and then I will firmly put it in place. And you could substitute the flower or the con color and contour bundle for the flowers and friendship bundle which comes with a punch. If you don't have a die cutting machine, it has a punch to cut out your flowers. You could also use the uh, timeless tulips dies or the peony. This would look really nice with that large peony on there. I think that'd be gorgeous. So you could do that as well. Now, if you can see here, if I had to go back, I would probably stamp some more of the blue. I think I will. Just over here a little bit. I'm gonna just try to tuck that in a little bit under here. 
See how that just kind of fills in the white a little bit and adds some interest? So depending on the size of your flower, you might want to just bring out those speckles. And again, if you're not using this stamp set, you could also just use um, your marker like you've seen in other videos and flick some of these colors onto the background to add some interest. Okay, let's put on our sentiment. Right over here. And now we're going to add this to our, our card front. This is a piece of thick basic white cardstock measuring five and a half by eight and a half. And we are going to fold that. And so I usually just give it a little crease and then I bring in my bone folder to finish off the job. And again, I'm going to add this on dimensionals. And you totally don't have to do this. You could put this straight down. I just find adding dimensionals and layering to your card is a really quick and easy and cost effective way to add a little bit of extra something or other to your card so that when you give it your the people that the recipient just like wow can't believe that you made this because it's not your typical card that was printed that you bought at the store although some of those are pretty are pretty and they have such cute messages in them they don't have all of this nice little bling bling and dimension on them so this white here is just enough on the card front to add just a little bit of a border around that and it makes all the difference. I'll post some pictures of this later and you can see probably a little bit better how much just raising that piece up makes a difference to the overall look of the card. So I highly recommend that you try some dimensionals and um, see how you come out with that. Okay let's add a little bit of bling because you all know me. These are the rhinestone basic jewels. And I'm going to use my pick a tool like always to place down my rhinestones so that I can see where I'm going. My big fat fingers are not in the way. And again, usually in groups of three or five in odd numbers works out really well. I think I'll just stick with three there. And there we have it. Today, this is our simple lunchtime card in less than 15 minutes. I don't even know how long that took us. How long did that take us people? but really simple. So again, substitute this out for the stamp set that you have on hand, or you can, I put a link in the description of where you can find the color and contour bundle. So if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and do that. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to share with your friends, I would love and appreciate so much if you would share this video with those that are close to you who might enjoy crafting as well. But happy Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you get a chance to go into your studio or your dining room table or your office or outside on your deck and do a little creative creating today as well. So happy stamping. Thanks for joining me. Bye.